For decades, the skies were ruled by two giants, Boeing and Airbus. Their rivalry shaped the aviation industry, driving innovation and defining global air travel. But today, that familiar duopoly faces its greatest challenge yet. Enter Comac, China's state-backed aerospace contender determined to break the Western monopoly. This isn't just about a new airplane, it's a seismic shift in the balance of power, with profound implications for airlines, economies and travelers worldwide. As Boeing stumbles and Airbus adapts, Comac's rise signals a new era in aviation. Let's explore how this emerging triopoly could reshape the future of flight. There was a time when Boeing stood as the undisputed leader in the aviation world, a company whose name was synonymous with innovation, reliability, and the very spirit of flight. From its humble beginnings in a small Seattle workshop, Boeing grew into a global powerhouse, setting the pace for the entire industry. Its aircraft were not just machines, they were marvels of engineering, trusted by airlines and admired by pilots and passengers alike for their safety, performance, and cutting-edge technology. For decades, airlines around the world relied on Boeing jets to connect continents and carry millions safely across the skies. The company's engineers were celebrated for their meticulous attention to detail, and its planes became the backbone of commercial aviation. Boeing's reputation was built on a foundation of trust, quality, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. But in recent years, a series of devastating crises, most notably the tragic 737 MAX disasters, shattered that hard-earned reputation. The crashes not only claimed lives but also exposed deep flaws in Boeing's design and safety culture, sending shockwaves through the industry and eroding the trust of airlines, regulators, and the flying public. Production delays became routine, quality control issues surfaced with alarming frequency, and regulatory scrutiny intensified. Airlines found themselves frustrated with grounded fleets and uncertain delivery schedules, while Boeing struggled to regain its footing and reassure a skeptical world. Meanwhile, European rival Airbus seized the opportunity, ramping up production and innovation. As Boeing faltered, Airbus surged ahead, capitalizing on its competitors' missteps and securing massive new orders from airlines eager for reliable alternatives. The balance of power in the aviation industry began to shift. The fallout has been especially severe in China, the world's fastest-growing aviation market. Trade tensions, combined with lingering safety concerns, have effectively frozen Boeing out of this crucial region. Chinese airlines, once major Boeing customers, have turned elsewhere, leaving rows of idle jets and a gaping hole in Boeing's global ambitions. As Airbus steps in to fill the void, delivering new jets and forging partnerships with Chinese carriers, Boeing's dominance is no longer assured. The company that once set the standard now finds itself struggling to keep pace in a rapidly changing landscape. And now, a new challenger is emerging. China's own Comac is preparing to enter the global stage, determined to claim its share of the skies. The stage is set for a dramatic new chapter in the battle for aviation supremacy. In the heart of Shanghai, a new force in global aviation is taking shape. Comac, officially known as the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, was founded in 2008 with a bold vision to transform China from a buyer of airplanes into a world-class manufacturer. In just over a decade, this state-owned company has become a symbol of China's technological ambitions and its determination to compete on the world stage. Comac is China's answer to the Western aviation giants, Boeing and Airbus. For decades, these two companies have dominated the skies, supplying most of the world's commercial jets. But now, Comac is challenging that status quo, aiming to break the duopoly and offer airlines a new choice. With strong backing from the Chinese government, Comac's mission is clear, end the Boeing Airbus duopoly and put China firmly on the aerospace map. This support isn't just financial, it's strategic, with policies and resources designed to ensure Comac's success both at home and abroad. The company's journey began with the ARJ-21, a regional jet that marked China's first serious step into commercial aviation. While the ARJ-21 faced technical hurdles and delays, it ultimately gave Comac invaluable experience in aircraft design, certification, and production. More importantly, it established a foothold in China's vast domestic market, where demand for air travel is booming. Building on the lessons learned from the ARJ-21, Comac is now scaling up its ambitions. The company is developing a full range of aircraft, including the narrow-body C919, 
which directly competes with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, and the wide-body C929, a joint project with Russia that aims to rival the largest jets in the world. Looking even further ahead, Comac is exploring the future of flight with advanced concepts like a supersonic passenger jet. These futuristic designs signal China's intent not just to catch up, but to leap ahead in aerospace innovation. One of Comac's greatest advantages is its privileged access to China's enormous home market. With hundreds of millions of potential passengers and a government eager to support domestic industry, Comac enjoys a unique position, guaranteed customers and a steady stream of orders from Chinese airlines. This access combined with vast resources and a skilled workforce gives Comac the ability to grow rapidly. The company is investing heavily in research, manufacturing, and talent, determined to close the gap with its Western rivals. This state-supported strategy is something no Western rival can match. While Boeing and Airbus must answer to shareholders and navigate complex international politics, Comac benefits from unified national support and a clear long-term vision. Once seen as a distant dream, Comac is now a real contender in the global aviation industry. As its jets take to the skies, the world is watching closely, because the future of flight may soon have a new name. The C919 is Comac's boldest move yet, a direct competitor to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. For decades, the skies have been dominated by just two names, Boeing and Airbus. Their narrow body jets have become the backbone of global air travel, shaping the way millions of people fly every day. But now China is stepping onto the world stage with a jet designed to break that dominance and offer airlines a new choice. With seating for up to 192 passengers, the C919 is tailored for the most competitive and profitable segment of commercial aviation, short and medium haul routes. Its spacious modern cabin is designed to meet the expectations of today's travelers, offering comfort and efficiency. Airlines are always searching for aircraft that balance passenger capacity with fuel efficiency, and the C919 aims to deliver just that. Since entering service in 2023, the C919's fleet has steadily expanded. Major Chinese airlines, including China Eastern, have already integrated the jet into their operations, using it on busy domestic routes. The aircraft's performance is being closely watched by the global aviation community, as each new delivery marks a step forward for China's aerospace ambitions. Over a thousand orders, mostly from domestic carriers, ensure steady production and valuable operational experience for Comac. This strong order book not only secures the future of the C919 program, but also provides a foundation for further technological improvements and international expansion. Each new contract signed is a vote of confidence in China's ability to produce world-class commercial aircraft. Comac is now showcasing the C919 at major international airshows, signaling ambitions that reach far beyond China's borders. By presenting the jet to global airlines and aviation experts, Comac is making it clear. The C919 is not just for China, but for the world. Interest from foreign carriers is growing and the aircraft's presence at events like the Paris Air Show is turning heads. The C919 blends global technology with homegrown innovation. Its advanced avionics, efficient engines and use of lightweight materials reflect the latest in aerospace engineering. Notably, the aircraft is already certified to operate with up to 50% sustainable aviation fuel, positioning it as a forward-thinking choice for airlines looking to reduce their environmental impact and meet future regulations. The C919 isn't just a symbol of China's technological progress, it's a serious challenge to the old order. By offering a credible alternative to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, Comac is forcing the industry to rethink what's possible and who gets to shape the future of flight. Aviation analysts are watching closely, as the C919's success could reshape the competitive landscape for years to come. The duopoly is officially on notice. With the C919, China has announced its arrival as a major player in commercial aviation, and the world is paying attention. As Comac builds momentum, China is also deepening its partnership with Airbus. With Boeing sidelined, China has placed record-breaking orders for hundreds of Airbus jets, cementing the European manufacturer's lead. Many of these planes are assembled in China, highlighting a strategic industrial alliance. For Airbus, it's a windfall. For Boeing, a disaster. China's pivot sends a clear message. 
It rewards partners and punishes rivals, reshaping the global aviation landscape. The balance of power is shifting fast. Despite its rapid rise, Comac faces steep hurdles on the global stage. The C919 lacks certification from Western regulators, limiting sales to China and a few friendly markets. Gaining approval from the FAA and ESA could take years, delaying international expansion. Comac also relies heavily on Western suppliers for engines and avionics, making it vulnerable to sanctions and trade disputes. Allegations of intellectual property theft and ongoing geopolitical tensions add further risk. Even with state support, these dependencies threaten Comac's ambitions. The path to global acceptance is long and uncertain. For now, Comac's reach is powerful, but not yet worldwide. Industry leaders are divided on Comac's prospects. Some, like Airbus's CEO, see inevitable progress thanks to China's vast home market. Others argue that breaking the Boeing Airbus duopoly will take decades, citing certification barriers and reliance on foreign technology. Building global trust, support networks, and a reputation for reliability is a marathon, not a sprint. Still, Comac's achievements so far are remarkable. The foundation for a new triopoly is being laid, even if the journey is far from over. The world is watching and waiting. Comac's ascent isn't just an industry story, it's a global shift with real-world impact. For airlines, a third major supplier could mean lower prices and faster fleet renewals. Passengers may benefit from more innovation, better comfort, and potentially lower fares. For China, Comac is a symbol of technological independence and national pride. For the West, it's a wake-up call, forcing new strategies and alliances in a more complex competitive market. The triopoly will redraw supply chains and reshape global power dynamics. Governments and companies must adapt to this new reality. The future of flight and geopolitics hangs in the balance. The age of the aviation duopoly is ending. Boeing's struggles and China's rise have opened the door for a new era. Comac's C919 is flying, Airbus is thriving, and Boeing is fighting to regain its footing. The industry's power centers now span North America, Europe, and Asia. Comac still faces daunting challenges, but its momentum is undeniable. The skies are no longer ruled by two giants, they're shared by three. The triopoly is here, and the future of aviation has never looked more dynamic or uncertain. Welcome to the new era of flight.